if we get old self out of the way and do it God's way and do it according to the scriptures, brother, I tell you, he'll be glorified. I tell you, you'll have a shouting meeting. You'll have singing praises unto God. And praise God most of all. Our brother, you'll see somebody saved by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. We do it God's way. Praise. Yes. We do it the Lord's way. Yeah. And a lot of times we want to follow what man says. Right. If man don't tell you what the Word of God says, you better not follow that. Right. I don't care who, what man it is. I don't care uh, uh, what kind of uh, feller he professes to be or a person he professes to be. Brother, if he don't do it God's way, uh, and then the Bible said, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> praise God, I tell you what, if he don't do it God's way, brother, God's going to pass judgment on him, my friend. Uh, God will not be mocked. He said, whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap, brother. If you sow to the flesh, he said, you're going to reap of the flesh corruption. He said, if you sow to the spirit, Hallelujah, you're going to reap life everlasting. Praise God. I tell you, we've got to follow the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God won't lead you wrong. You see, that what, what the Spirit of God does, it teaches us a word. Without it, we couldn't understand the word. We wouldn't even have the word as far as that goes. Because the Bible said all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. God inspired man through the Holy Spirit to write the scriptures. The Holy Ghost moved on them and they wrote as God gave them the words to write. Now this is God's word. Man wrote it but it's God's word because God inspired it. God told them what to write. And then uh, brother we've got the uh, judgment of our service. One of these days we as Christians are going to all have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, this is what Paul said, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Now I tell you, if any preacher gets up preaching you, saying that you're not going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ, he's a liar. I don't care where he comes from or who he is. He's not telling you the truth because Paul said we, we must all. Who's he talking about we? That included himself. When you use that word we, that includes you, me, whoever is a, uh, a child of God. We all must stand before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the things done in the body, whether it be good or bad. Boy, that cuts all this wickedness out of these uh, Christians that wants to live like a devil. That takes that all away from you. You do bad things, brother, you're going to be judged for them bad things. And you're going to lose your reward. Ah, uh, yeah. Jesus said, my reward is with me to give every man according to his works. And, 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 and that included every man. <laughs> when he said every man, that meant everybody. Brother, and I tell you what, uh, you know, uh, uh, tonight uh, people uh, wants to live like they want to. But I tell you, you can't live like you want to. First of all, we're going to be judged for our faithfulness. We're not going to be judged for salvation, Christians. Because that's a free gift. Amen. Christ gave us, if he saved us, he gave us salvation. It comes from him. There's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved except through and by the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So he's not judging us for salvation. He's judging us after we get saved for faithfulness. We've got people that love the Lord in their heart, but they're not faithful to the Lord. They're not true to the Lord. They don't, they're not faithful to worship the Lord. They're not faithful to read the Bible. They're not faithful to pray. They're not faithful to witness. But that's what God saved you for. Yeah. My brother, why would he save you? He just saved you to sit down and do nothing. Hallelujah. He saved you unto a good work. Amen. To glorify him. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Praise God. Woo. They might take me off on the TV, but I'm going to tell you the truth while I'm on it. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, he wanted to, uh, the ball so far, he said, no, he wouldn't cut me off. He loves the Lord too. Amen. Brother Ken Gross, we appreciate him. As long as we preach the truth, he'll back us up. The Bible says there in 1 Corinthians 4 and 2, he said, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. In stewards. You know what a steward is? That's one that oversees things. 
That's a, that's a servant. That's a servant. I'm not talking about Jim Stewart. <laughs> He'll be here maybe, Lord willing, next week. But uh, we're talking about those that serve. And that's what the Lord called us for, to serve. Amen. To be servants to him. And brother, you, the Bible says you are servants to whom you obey. 